Hi, how are you guys doing? And welcome back to Trails of Cold Steel with me, your girl, Noah Fuses. Uh, we're just gonna go right into it and start these missions up. I think this is the place, right? This place we're supposed to go? Yes. You know what else you're supposed to go? You're supposed to uh, go ahead and uh, give it a big like and subscribe to the channel for more. Do you have the records, milady? Welcome to Plaza Bifrost. Is there anything I can help you with? We're looking for a specific item and heard that this was the place to ask. That's right. What can I help you find today? We're trying to find a record that came out roughly 30 years ago. It's called Amber Amir. And th is there any chance that someone here would have it in stock? Amber Amir, allow me to get in touch with our affiliate stores. Please bear with me as I do so. Thank you for waiting. Did you manage to find it? I'm afraid not. I got all five stores, but none of them had a copy, I'm afraid. That's less than ideal. Can you ask anyone else? Unfortunately not. I'm afraid you might have to acquire elsewhere. However, before we resort to that, it is possible for us to contact the record maker and ask them to send us a copy. Would that be an interest to you? How long would it take to arrive? It depends on the company, but in referring to a month, I'd say. Uh-oh. Unfortunately, we were asked to find a copy by tonight. Well, I appreciate the effort. There's not much point in getting in a week from now. So you need it right away. Then might I suggest you visit Austin District. There's a very reliable secondhand store that might have it. Oh, right. I didn't think of that. Didn't realize there was a secondhand store in Heimdall. Don't you live in Austin District, Machias? Not only do I live there, I know the woman who runs the store. The store's name is Im... Emeralds, and I'm fairly certain they sell old records. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's go. Find my me. We really appreciate all the help you've given us. My pleasure. I do hope you find what you're looking for. Okay, so it's not in this big ass store. Kitty! This is the ostrich ship where I was born and raised. You'll find mostly lower class citizens and laborers around here. Like, damn, why are you gonna put your hometown down like that? And he's like, yes, they're just lower class here. <laughs> I've got nothing to see here. Huh? There are a lot of old looking buildings in this area, but it doesn't look especially run down. It wasn't included in the city's redevelopment plan, but they took to care of it anyways. Once my father and Chancellor Osborne came to power at least, the two of the mansion improved the employment numbers around here, and in turn, the standard of living. That's why they're so popular here in Heimdall. Chancellor Osborne is, in particular, is famous for holding his ground against even the most influential nobles. Interesting. So does that mean we're near your house, Marcus? Yeah, relatively. While there isn't much to see here, everyone gets along pretty well, and they're always there for each other. On the note, there are a number of people here whom I'd like to see before we leave. I'll do that later. Fine by me. Let, let's go. All right, we're here. Welcome. Hey, Marcus. Huh? What are you doing here? What happened to your grandmother? It's kind of odd to see you here. She's caught. She's caught it quits, basically. So now the store is all mine. But really? <laughs> no need to freak out. I'm handling things pretty well. Anyway, be sure to drop by if you ever in the neighborhood. I don't have too many years on me, but I know what I'm doing. R right. Anyway, there's something I'd like to ask. We're searching for a specific record. Do you know if you have Amber and Mir in stock here by any chance? Hmm. Let me have a look, okay? Sorry for the way. Is this the one? Yes, she does have it. Thank you very much. So, is that the one? Yep, it's the real deal. It's in really good condition considering that it's second hand too. Heming will be ecstatic to see this. How much is it? It's 10 whole percent off the original price. Only 10%? That 
it's still pretty expensive. Hey, I'm trying to run a business here. It's a fair price given how well the records managed to hold its value. I figured it'd be more the regular price since it's so rare. See? She gets it. It'll be way more than retail price if it were out of print too. 10%. Take it or leave it. We'll take it. We should cover it. Hehe. <laughs> Pleasure doing business with you. Well, we found what we needed. Yeah, let's bring this back to Hemming. <laughs> she said, I'm trying to run business here. So what, you thought that you were my uh, your friends with me that I would give you a discount or gives you for free? Ha ha ha. Blasphemy. The, no, not leave. Talk. So you found it after all. Somehow, yeah, it's all yours. Elliot gave him an amber mirror and his change and told him what happened. Sorry I couldn't find you a brand new one. Oh, no need to worry. You really saved my evening. I don't have to worry about disappointing my friend. How wonderful to hear. Yeah, all that searching was worth it. Well, you can't go without a reward. So here, it's one of our desserts. Wobbly pudding five. Thank you. Thank you very much. It looks so good that I sort of want to eat it right now. <laughs> Quite the compliment. Well then, best of luck with the rest, rest of your field study. Oh, is that the song playing in the background? Oh, that's nice. I was about to say, if we can still hear it out here, I'll be like, whoa. No, we're not going back to her house. Okay, so the next mission we need to go back to the Van Clear Street and find some person that's trying to advertise. Hello, how can I help you? We're hi, we're students from Thor's Military Academy. We're here to follow up on a request of what made up made for us. Ah, I see. You must be class 7 then. Would you like me to call the man who made this request out to meet you? Yes, please. Understood. Please take a seat on the sofa over there. Then will I do so. I think I've seen you before. Hey, nice to meet you. I'm Norton, a photographer here at Premium Chronicle. Aren't you the photographer that was at the freaking... Who went into the freaking Highlands and we had to go and fetch you because you couldn't freaking wait for like security and shit and we found you by the big statue is that not you or are you somebody else you're his twin brother i'm actually met Rin here before though glad to see you're keeping one okay so it is the same guy okay likewise nice to see you again didn't expect i ran into you like this though you know him yeah i met him during the field study last month right back when you were in the north highlands exactly yep I'm there at the same time. I really owe Rin and the rest of his group for everything they did for me. I probably wouldn't have got pictures as good as I did if it weren't for them. Now you're exaggerating things. <laughs> I'll take the compliment though. <laughs> I wouldn't mind having you folks with me next time I head out. Okay, enough hopes and dreams. Let's talk about the details of this request. I'm guessing it's summer festival related? How could it not be? It's always got us scrambling this time of year. So basically, I want you to help take some of the weight off our shoulders. And how would we do that exactly? We need you to help us make a tourist pamphlet, essentially. We put these things out on a regular basis, but this one's made specifically for the festival. And like I said, we're so swamped around here that it's really dragging. Sounds tough. I assume you won't be asking us to actually write the thing, will you? I'll be like, yeah, I'm like, dang, are we actually writing the pamphlet? Are we taking pictures for the pamphlet? Uh, no, 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 we wouldn't go that far. We need you to get some of the featured stores to do a couple things. First first up, you need to collect each store's comment for the pamphlet. Don't worry, we ask them to write them in advance. After that, we need you to take a picture of the store and its employees for us. And just to make sure everything's the way it should be, be sure to, to read each store's comment back to them. 
That sounds very doable. Yeah. Bree knows how to use a camera too, so we shouldn't run into any issues. I do. I know how to use a camera. I'm hardly an expert, but I know how to work on it at least. Now that we know what we have to do, just how many stores will we be visiting exactly? Five in total. They're all in Vancouver Street too, so you won't be running around much. Okay, good. Because it was just like two or th uh, one or two in each freaking street. I'd be like, ah, oh, more running around. This is gonna take forever. You'll find the first two in Plaza Bifrost. You'll be looking for Weston House, which is a general grocery store in Mimosa, a coffee shop of sorts. Then south of Plaza Bifrost, you'll be a weapon shop named Watson's. I think I've seen that. Followed by the Lumiere Orbital Factory south of that. Last but not least, the Sage, which is right next to Lumiere. You get all that, Machias? Yeah, that's a lot of stops, but I doubt we'll have any trouble fighting them. Yeah, they're all on the west side of the Thunker Street, so you're not exactly going to get lost. Well, that's everything you need to know. Any questions? Nope, we're good. Great, you're gonna need this then. Please tell me we're not gonna actually take can't, take pen. Like, please tell me like it's automatic, like. Like, automatic, like, Reen took a picture. Because if we do it, we might fuck it up. We're like, man, we go back to him, he goes like, man, these are horrible quality. Do it again. I'm heading back to work now, so I'm counting on you. Get Cytron to give me a shout when you've been to all stores. I appreciate if you give her the comments in the camera when you're done too. Will do. Okay then, let's get started. So they're all pretty much on the same street. Welcome to Weston House. Uh, thanks. We're here to do a favor for the Imperial Chronicle. Rin explained that they were there to collect a comet and take a photo of the store. Ah, yes. My contact there said you'll be dropping by. Here's our comment. Thanks. Let me read this bad to you just to make sure everything's in order. Letting our customers leave with a smile is our greatest honor, so please pay us a visit your next trip to Heimdall. Is that okay? Haha, <laughs> wow, it sounds so embarrassing when you read out loud like that. But even so, that's right. Great. Now for a picture, if you don't mind. Okay. Say jeez. Much appreciated. Oh, please, it was nothing. Okay, so they don't make me do the picture. It's just kind of like an automatic thing. Because I was just like, uh, you might get a shitty picture if you're going to make me do this. Isn't there another store in here? Yep, there it is. Welcome, table for five. Not right now, but we're here for the Imperial Chronicle. All right, that's. They told me to expect you. I've got a comment right here. Thanks. I'll read this out loud just to make sure it is correct. Let us provide you with a moment of luxury during your time in the capital. How does that sound? Sounds good to me. Okay, next we have to take a picture of the store. Say cheese. Thank you for your cooperation. Anytime. Thanks for doing all this. Alright, three more to go. And I think they're either right across the street or down the street. Because I know I've seen a store. Okay, there's the other one. Ooh, can I, uh, I can't go. And it's freaking huge, though. Hey there. Welcome to Lemire, Lemire Orbital Fastway. What can I do for you? We're actually here on behalf of the Imperial Chronicle. Oh, for the pamphlet? Yeah, I heard about that. Well, here you go. Thank you very much. Just to recap, stop by Lemire Orbital Factory for all your orbit-related needs. Does that sound right? You bet it is. Right then, next up is taking a picture of the store. Say cheese. Thank you very much. Not at all. Welcome to the Sage. I can tell from your uniforms that you're Thor's students. That's right, how did you know? We made those uniforms in this very store. Really? 
Ah, so the store does share its name with the boutique and Trista. Now that I think about it, oh yeah, they're both called the same thing. Hmm, franchise. Hehe, <laughs> this is Lesage Main Branch. Back to business. Have you come in search of something specific or are you just here to browse? Well, neither. I see. I was told you spoke something to swing by. Here's our common, if you please. Thank you. Please allow me to read it back to you. If you want to stay on the cutting edge of fashion, you want to shop in Sage. Is that acceptable? It is indeed. Now for a picture. Say cheese. Thank you very much. Not at all. Somewhere. I know I saw it the last time I was here. Welcome for free to take a look around. We're actually here in the bath of the Imperial Chronicle. Oh yeah, they told me you'd be stopping by. Here you go then. Thank you very much. Can I take a look? Sure, mind reading it back to him too? Let's see. We've gained our customers' trust with our long stay tradition of expertise. How does that sound? Perfect. Okay, next up, we've got to take a picture of the store. Make sure I look cool in it now. Haha, <laughs> I'll try. Say cheese. Thank you very much. Right then, I think that's all of them. Yeah, let's put Brad to Norton. I was about to go in there, but I was like, no, that's not it. Good day, everyone. I assume you finished Norton's request. That we have. Here you go. Thank you very much. I'll go call Norton back here, so please make yourself comfortable on the sofa. Nice work out there. Just had the photos you took developed, too. You gave them a once-over. How were they? I was a bit nervous knowing that a pro would be looking at them. Haha, <laughs> let me tell you, there was no need for that. You took some nice shots. They were just right for this. That's a relief. Nice, good for you. Do all the comments seem to be in order? Yep, look good to me. Now all we've got to do is plan out the pamphlet's layout and we'll be done. That's wonderful. We're running around Falcon and was worth it then. I'll say. Thanks guys, I really appreciate it. You did great work. Oh yeah, can't forget to hand over your award. Here you go. Intimidation? That's very nice of you, thanks. Time for me to get back to work. Feels like a lot less to handle. Thanks all of you though. Quest complete. Okay, so next we need to go to Jungle's Plaza, and I don't think that's on this street. So let's see what the tram tells me. Oh, so we're near the palace this time. I, w I wonder if we're somehow gonna see someone important while we're here. Like, coincidentally, like one of them like like, does a jasmine in, in, in the sky is trying to be with the regular people or something like that. Highly doubt that's gonna happen, but it would be nice to see. The large building you see in the distance is Valflame, Valflame Palace, home of the Imperial family and the government. I see a statue of Emperor Drunkles, the Lionheart, center of the plaza as well. Haha, uh -huh, this is the one place in the capital that never gets any less stunning, no matter how many times I see it. Well, we come all the way out here, might as well get a closer look. Yup. Here's the statue of Emperor Dracos. He strikes quite a stately pose. Weird to think he's the one who founded our academy. The Larner, Dracos Res Arnon. Alright, nice, nice. No. Okay. <laughs> Can we just walk up? Okay, but they do stop and look at it. So this is Val Flame Palace. This is where the Imperial Government is headquartered to, right? Yeah. It's a pretty imposing building too. 
looking up at it, one can really appreciate the grand scale of this nation. True. Oh, you're all here too. Who's this? Okay, it's the other group. Okay. Wait, what are you guys doing here? Totally coincidence. It's not like we were planning to run into you here. Isn't your group supposed to be focusing on the western half of the city? <laughs> it seems seem, I seem to. Oh my god. Can it read? Hmm. <laughs> I seem to recall your group being assigned to cover the east side, yet here you are. Ah, that must be where our areas overlap. Have you been going around exploring the places on your list too? Yes, we've only arrived here but a tram while ago. Hee <laughs> hee, how's everything coming along for you? Not bad. Still, in a city this big, it's quite a coincidence just to run into each other like this. True, perhaps fate keeps trying to bring us together. I take it they put you all up in the old guild house too then. Yeah, I have to say, I didn't see that coming. <sighs> Your dad seems to be like he's the meddling type Machias. <sighs> I wish I could disagree. <laughs> I'm sure he has his reasons. We've explored about half our sun area so far. How about you? Yeah, I say we're about half of ours too. I see, it seems we all have some luck work ahead of us. Yeah, let's give it our best shot then. What's going on? Oh hey, why don't we all go to lunch together later? Hehe, <laughs> that sounds wonderful. There's no guarantee we'll be able to get together again during our visit after all. True, it'll be a perfect chance to exchange information as well. I have no objections. Alright, we'll just give us a call in the Arcus when you're ready to take a break for lunch. We'll do the same. Sounds like a plan. Hmm, back to exploring then. Yeah, let's move on to the next area. Later everyone. Later. All right, let's get get back to exploring then. Right. Let's see if we can finish scouting out our assigned areas before noon. Cannot go forward. <laughs> this area is off limits to ordinary citizens. Turn back now. Damn it. It would be so awesome if they just let me just go past and be like, what the fuck? Click on it! Click on the person! Okay, there it goes. Welcome, would you like some gelato? Excuse me, I'd like to- Oh wow, there are a lot of you today. How many will we be having? And what flavors? She's like, I see dollar signs. I'll take a look. <laughs> She's like, I'm going with it. Don't play along with her. Unfortunately, we haven't come to- To-, to, to Oh my god, I cannot read! Unfortunately, we haven't come to purchase your assuredly delicious gelato. We were sent by the governor to assist you with a request. Oh, that's why you're here. Sorry about that. Ah, uh, no worries. May I ask what you need our help with? Of course. There was a customer who stopped by for some gelato the other day, you see. He told me all about how his hat was a handmade gift received from someone very special to him. Ironically, he dropped it by my stall. There's been no sign of him ever since. That's not good. Especially if it was so important to him. He was probably devastated after he realized he lost it too, which means he's most likely frantically searching for it as we speak. The catch being that he's unaware of where exactly he dropped it. Yep, that's probably it. I could have given it to him, back to him by now if he were a regular customer, but he's definitely not. Well, if you knew who he was, this wouldn't be a problem. How old do you think he was? I'd say he was in his 20s at least. He did not mention that he was from the Austin district. That's all I know though, sorry. How many 20-something males are, are there in Heimdall? Uh, probably freaking a lot. More than would make this easy. Still, knowing he's from Austria should make things easier. Oh yeah, that's where your house is, isn't it? Exactly. The Austria has a strong sense of community, and I know a pub owner who may know something. Okay. So I assume we'll find him eventually. Then I see no reason not to go to this pub. Probably our best bet. Could we take the hat with us, Jasmine? Of course, here you go. Thank you. Okay, Marcus, lead the way. Of course. The pub's called Gamgee's and is owned by a man named, well, Gamgee. It's located around the center of the district. 
Pub's already good for getting info. Good luck fighting him. I'll use some gelato for this. Don't worry, we'll make sure he gets his hat back. Alright, so we gotta go all the way back to Austin Street. Okay, so I could just run off and it and doesn't do the whole animation. I can just I can just walk off the street. Okay. Good to know. Oh, and it's right there. That was easy. Hey, Mark, is need something from me? I do. Could you take a look at this hat for us? We're searching for its owner, and I thought you might know who it belonged to. Maki showed Gamji the handmade summer cap. Hmm, I'm pretty sure I've seen this before, I figured. Hmm. Oh, I remember now. Jim's wife made this for him after they got married. The guy was crazy about it and wouldn't stop showing it off, so I tried my best to erase the damn thing from my mind. Haha. <laughs> so it's Jim's, is it? I'm surprised he dropped something that important to him, though. Well, her up and gave it back to him, who probably cried tears of joy. Last I heard, he's off for today, so sh you should find him at his house. Just try to keep this a secret from his wife if you can. This would get awkward if she heard that he dropped it, I guess. Discretion might be a good idea. Do you know where he lives? Yes, yeah, step outside, take a slight right, head down the steps, and it's directly ahead. Thank you for the information, Gamchi. Heh, <laughs> don't sweat it. Alright, off to Jim's house then. Oh, it was literally straight ahead. Why why did why did he said, oh yeah, take a right and then walk straight? Bitch, you could have just said walk straight and you'll see his goddamn house. Oh, hello there, Marcus. Doesn't seem like J like Jim's home. Yeah, let's ask Grassy where he is. You wouldn't happen to know where Jim is, would you? You just missed him, actually. He wandered out a short while ago without so much as a word. He's been acting a bit odd for the past few days, too. You wouldn't happen to know anything, would you? N no of course not. Right. What did you need from anyway? Oh, Gamji wanted me to pass the message on to him, that's all. Well, that's kind of a thing you want to do face to face. You shouldn't have gone too far. Thank you for letting us know. Sorry for intruding. Yeah, because we just- we walk into houses like we own the bitch, like... And they're just cool with it every time. Say, so he shouldn't have gone far. Let's go over here. Nope. Is this him? Maybe? Nope. His name's Johnny. Jim, where'd you go? Oh, there he is. God dang. Come on, Tram. Hurry up. I really wish I could remember where I dropped it. Jim, there you are. Found him just in time. Yeah, it would would it wouldn't have been easy to find him if he got on the tram. Did did you say find him? Were you looking for me for some reason? That we were. This wouldn't happen to be yours, would it? My hat! I can't believe it. This is it. The hat that Grace had made for me. Oh, thank Odious. I've been looking all over for this for the past few days. Where in the world did you find it? We didn't find it at all. The lady of the gelato stall by the plaza picked it up after you dropped it. Oh! Now that I think about it, I do remember taking it off over there since my head was getting itchy. And then... You accidentally dropped it? <laughs> is that... Uh-oh. I had no idea you were here, Grassy. Sorry, Muggas. I decided to follow you after I realized what happened. I can't believe you, Jim. Not only did you drop that hat, you didn't even tell me the truth about it. So sorry, I just didn't want to upset you. I understand how you felt, but you should have just told me. Didn't you swear never to keep anything from me when we got married? I'm more upset with the fact that you broke that oath than anything else. You're right. I'm so, so sorry. I should have told you right away. Hehe. <laughs> I'll forgive you this time. Thank you so much for returning it to him. I couldn't be more grateful. This isn't even close to a proper reward, but here. Shit, I'll take it. I'm not mad at all. Are you sure we can have these? Oh, by all means. 
Please give our thanks to the lady at the jail cell too. Of course. Well then, let's go home, darling. We wouldn't want to waste your day off now, would we? Aha. Uh -huh. No, we would not. Anyway, again, thank you all so much for this. Okay, so we just instantly teleported. So you managed to find him then? Thank goodness. How can I ever repay you? Free ice cream. I think you're overestimating what we actually did. Don't worry about it. <laughs> That's not true at all. Speaking of which, you must all be exhausted after all that running around. How about some gelato to refresh yourselves? You mean it? Wow, thank you. It's the least I can do. Vanilla gelato. Lemon gelato. What a treat, thank you. They look deliciously refreshing. Alright, so that's done. Apparently, this is probably the monster hunting one. Oh wow, this is a very nice hotel. This is a very nice place in general, oh my god. This is the Garner District. It's famous for being home to Heimdall Opera House, as well as a bunch of expensive jewelers and hotels. Yeah, I see. So it's kind of an entertainment district then? Does it seem like the kind of place we'd be spending much time in, at least? There's a casino in one of the clubs around here. There's a casino? It probably goes without saying, but it's completely off limits to us. Like we care? I have to admit, I am curious. Boo. Uh -huh. I can do it without the casino. I'd love to see something at the opera house someday. I mean, their operas are the face of the Iberian culture after all. I'd love to see one too, especially if I could get one, get one of the box seats. They must be amazing to earn such high praise from you two. But right now, we've got a request to take care of, and let's take, take a look around. A fine idea. Oh yeah, this is like the high-end part of the city, like the super, super high-end where you can never afford anything, you can just look and pretend you have it. Welcome to Dera Himil. Excuse us, we're here to learn more about the request we received from this hotel. Is the manager available? We should know who we are if we mention that the word Thor's military academy. Oh yes, we've heard all about you. Unfortunately, however, Noble had to leave an urgent business. He should be back during the afternoon though, so might I request that you return then? If that's the case, there isn't much for us to do if he isn't here, so leaving this request for later seems like our only option. Yeah, let's go take care of the others then. Got it. Off to lunch then! Since I can't do the request now. After visiting the assigned areas and completing their mandatory tasks, reading Group A contacted Group B. Noon had long since passed, so both was grabbed in Valkyrie Shoots department store for a late lunch. I just want y'all to know, I don't normally eat that much. Considering the size of the capital, I'm not surprised we worked up such an appetite running around. Haha. <laughs> well, I guess now that we ought to have plenty of energy to make some good progress this afternoon. Indeed, although... <laughs> they still hate each other, they're not talking to each other. Uh... 
Is there really nothing we can do about these two? This is getting ridiculous. They seemed uncomfortable during the entire meal. So yeah, they, they both didn't speak at all. They just did not even look at each other in the freaking eye. At all. Like, they don't want nothing to do with each other right now. I can only hope we'll be able to find some way to reconcile the differences soon. I know, I know, but nothing good ever comes from rushing these things. I've got a feeling they're going to get over it on their own soon. Hmm, I hope you're right. Anyway, we should get back to work. It shouldn't take us too much longer to finish things up. Yeah, I think we've got maybe one mandatory task left. And that one we just couldn't do because the client was out of time. Well, hopefully we he's back by now. We'll go check in when we get a chance. We'll see you all again at some point. I hope this first side proves fruitful for us. Agreed. Good luck, everyone. Catch you later. Alright, let's head back to the hotel on Garner Street. Let's hope the manager's back in. And we'll go ahead and head back in the next video. Hope you guys enjoyed. And if you guys did, then give it a big fat like and subscribe to the channel for more. Bye. I'll see you guys later.